Hello and welcome to Biz Moments. I'm Marcos Gonzalez, Executive Development Officer for Bernalillo County. We're here today to talk about doing business in Bernalillo County. I'd like to welcome Suzanne Woodworth, who's a general manager of Weems Gallery and Framing. Thank you so much for being here, Suzanne. Thank you so much for having me. This is really fun. So Suzanne, tell us a little bit about Weems Gallery. Weems Gallery is the oldest gallery in Albuquerque. We've been around for about 43 years. We're located on Wyoming, 5935 Wyoming, which is basically in the same plaza as um, Whole Foods, sort of Academy and Wyoming. And um, we feature art, gifts, we do framing and restoration. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what inspires you about the gallery today? The major thing that inspires me are the artists. We have almost 200 local artists that we represent. I also really appreciate that part of our mission is to give back to the community that supports us. And so we try to center our shows on supporting local nonprofits. And what are some of the challenges that you're experiencing today and how have you worked to overcome them? When the economy slows down a bit, of course, so does the art world. One of the things that I think it's really important to do is to hear what the community needs and wants and sort of respond accordingly. I also think it's really important we have a website and the website allows our customers A, to buy from home or B, to sort of keep up with us as new art and new pieces come in. And then also, you know, people can come in and if they feel they can't afford a piece of art or a gift, they can reframe something that they want. Or if there's something that's been in the family for years and it needs a little bit of help, we have a restoration department as well. So we really try to serve the community in all sorts of different facets. There's some beautiful art that you brought with you today. Can you tell us a little bit about the different art the medium, and some of the artists. I tried to bring a broad selection and sort of point out that we have pieces that are affordable. We really believe in affordable art. We have really, really well-known artists like B.C. Nallen and Sarah Blumenshine, and we have local artists who are just starting out as well. We have everything, again, from wall art to sculpture to glasswork. Um, mobiles, um, wind chimes, jewelry, you name it. We really feel strongly that we want to sort of have something for everybody. We have to step in and do some holiday shopping early. Thank you, yeah, we'd love you to do that. And you know, you can find everything from handmade ornaments to, you know, lovely gifts and lovely pieces of art. For somebody that's looking to maybe start their own gallery, what advice would you have for them? They really have to be responsive to the community and sort of be hearing what the community is looking for. And I just think having a website as an art gallery is extremely important because it allows people to sort of preview what's in the gallery. They can also purchase from home or they can, of course, come into the gallery. And we love to chat about our artists. We personally know each and every artist. You know, I'm an extremely enthusiastic person, and so is everybody else who works at the gallery. And to be able to spend a moment and talk about the people who create all these beautiful pieces of art is just a fun way to spend your day. Great. Well, thank you so much, Suzanne, for telling us more about the gallery than also for sharing these lovely pieces here today as well. So thank you for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. It's been great. Well, that's it for this Biz Moment. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.